Hi everyone, I'm Nathan with the ebookreader.com. For this review, I'm going to give you guys a look at the N2A card on a Nook tablet. So, uh, last year I did a review for the N2A cards on the Nook Color, and this time I've got one for the Nook tablet. Um, they're different cards, you can't interchange them because they have different uh, settings for each device. So all you do is you take out the N2A card out of the packaging, you take your Nook tablet, you power it all the way off. It's always got to be powered off when you're dealing with these cards, um, either taking them out or putting them in. So you just power it off, put the N2A card right back in here in the memory card slot, and then all you got to do is turn it on, and that's it. That's literally it. You just hold down the button and the Nook home screen or the boot screen will start up, and then we'll show the uh, N2K, N2A card's logo. Uh, so that's literally all you have to do. You can just take a Nook right out of the box and stick that uh, memory card in the back. Um, you can have your Nook operating system all set up uh, with your books and everything on there, and then the, uh, just put this card in there as well. And um, so you have like two Nooks in one essentially. Um, if you are when this is running normally, you can select to reboot from the menu and then just go back to the um, stock operating system as well. So it's sort of a dual boot system here. So this is how the lock screen works. You get the new lock screen. And then this is the home screen. When you first turn it on, you'll get greeted with the home screen. It looks just like this. So basically, it's a completely different experience than the stock operating system. We've got different home screens, kind of like the stock operating system. Um, but we've got the landscape mode, and we've also got uh, a whole bunch of different things we can do here. So right now, it comes with the uh, live wallpaper in the background. We can set up different wallpapers. We've got different widgets, like the calendar widget here. I don't have anything on it for now. Uh, you can hook up uh, different widgets on here. I'll show you how to do that stuff early, in a little while. Let me show you what you're going to want to do to get set up when you first turn on your N2A card. First thing you're going to want to do is go into Wi-Fi settings. You'll have to set up your uh, Wi-Fi, enter your password for your Wi-Fi router. And then um, after you do that, you can go ahead and launch any of your Google apps. And then once you do that, it'll ask you to log into your Google account or to create a new one. And as soon as you do that, you've got access to the Google Play Store. And obviously in here you can get uh, any kind of apps you want. There are like 400,000 apps in the App Store opposed to Barnes & Noble's uh, 4,000 or so. So that obviously opens up a lot more windows as far as the functionality for this device is concerned. So as I was saying earlier, you can go ahead and change up a lot of the appearance on here. If you want to just hold down on the home screen, you can pull up the options here for different wallpapers, widgets, uh, folders. So the live wallpapers work well on the Nook tablet with its dual core processor. They get a little laggy on the Nook color, but uh, these work quite well on the Nook tablet. There's obviously a whole bunch of different options here. And then you can download a bunch more from the Android market, for instance, or you can get them from other uh, app stores. So you can load up other stuff on here, obviously. I've got the Amazon app store. Actually, I don't have it on this one, but you can go ahead and load the Amazon app store so you can get the free paid app each day. They have lots of games, um, so you can do that as well as the Google Play store. Um, one thing is you're not going to be able to access your Nook apps unless you um, go over to the Nook operating system because the Nook uh, app store is totally closed off to everything outside of the Nook. So uh, even though it's still the Nook, you have to go to the stock OS to be able to run any of the Nook apps that you've purchased um, from Barnes & Noble. Okay, so let's talk about some of the differences. Aside from the app selection, you're going to get a whole uh, set up of different apps on here opposed to the uh, stock operating system for the Nook tablet. You've uh, got the your Gmail apps on here, so you've got the, st the standard Gmail app. Um, we've got the regular YouTube instead of like using the web browser. Um, we can also load up on here other e-reading apps. So it comes with several pre-installed already, um, including the Nook app. So um, like I said, you can uh, still load the stock operating system when you're using the N2A cards or you can just go ahead and use the uh, Nook for Android app if you want to read your ebooks that way in uh, periodicals. Some of the content doesn't show up in the uh, Android app, but uh, most of it does. Um, the Android app and the Nook uh, stock operating system are pretty comparable. The stock operating system has a couple of di additional features, um, but for the most part they're uh, very comparable. you got the highlights, the notes, the dictionary. Um, you've got the different text sizes different font types, and all the different modes. It's, it's very similar to the uh, stock operating system. Alright, so you got to get familiarized with the new um, layout of how everything works. So you've got the on-screen buttons right here with the uh, CM7. So the N2A card is based off uh, Cyanogen Mod 7. I haven't mentioned that yet. That's a custom firmware for Android 2.3, so it's just more like a straight up uh, Android tablet this way. Uh, so some of the unique things with the interface here, we've got the notifications 
list here. So you just pull this up anytime you get your notifications. Like right here, it tells me I have some updates available in the Google App Store. And then um, down here, we've also got the Home button. You can use the Nook Home button too, of course. And if you hold the button, you'll get your recent apps that you've uh, recently visited. So that's a cool way you can jump back and forth uh, between recent apps. We've also got the little menu button right here. So uh, you can customize a lot of the stuff uh, for the home screen. That's a back button right here. And then the search. So that's how your on-screen buttons work as far as the uh, navigation is concerned. And then this little center button right here is your app drawer where all your other apps are located. So this is just one launcher. Uh, this is the ADW launcher, I believe. You can go in and actually have completely different launchers. Um, that have like a dock down here. You can probably put that on with this one as well. Um, we can get different transition with different launchers. So if you just go in here, you like run a search for launcher, you can customize the uh, home screen a lot more. Like Go Launcher is one of the other popular launchers. Um, with it, you can set like all the different uh, icon sizes. You can set different transitions to have like when you go like this, the apps all spin or they do different, uh, different effects. There's a whole bunch of customization you can do with these different launchers. A lot more customization than you can with the uh, stock operating system. Um, so what I was saying earlier is you can load in all these competing e-reading apps so you've got your uh, uh, wide open content sources so uh, you can just read Kindle ebooks on here. You've also got uh, the Aldeco is a really nice EPUB app that's already preloaded onto here and there's also Google Google Books. I'm not sure if Google Books is already on here a lot. Um, some of these apps are already preloaded onto here. Uh, so using the Play Store like a lot of these uh, Google apps weren't actually on here yet like the uh, Google Maps. Um, so that was one thing I had to add and Google Reader. Um, so I added a couple of games as well, of course. There's uh, Angry Birds will work, obviously. So that's something that's a little bit different. With the Nook operating system, you're going to have to buy Angry Birds through the Nook store. Whereas if you go through the Google Play store, you can get the ad-supported version. It's got these little ads up in the corner. Um, so it's free that way. So obviously you can get a lot more free apps by going through the uh, uh, Google App Store as well as the Amazon App Store as opposed to just the uh, Barnes & Noble App Store. So this is kind of a cheaper route to go in a lot of ways. Okay, so let me show you some of the other uh, options we've got here. Like I said, uh, you can change the background, some of these other options we've got in here. We can add the widgets, and then you get this little uh, options right here for all your different widgets. Certain apps will have different widgets, and then uh, you, it just depends. Once you have them loaded up, they'll actually the widgets will appear on here. You actually have to have the app installed first. So here's the power widget. You can set exactly what options you want on here. Um, one thing you're going to want to be able to figure out is adjusting the brightness quickly. Uh, so you can go into settings and display and you can adjust the brightness right there. Um, I kind of like using this little widget right here. You can adjust the brightness on the fly. It's got uh, preset settings and automatically goes to the auto brightness. You can just hit it uh, four different times to adjust the brightness quickly. Uh, so that's just one of the details. Some of the other widgets, obviously, it just all depends on what you have loaded up on here. These are some of the preset widgets. Have the news and weather widgets. Actually don't have the weather set up on here because um, that weather thing doesn't always seem to work. We've got some different um, radio apps pre-installed. So we've got the TuneIn radio pre-installed. That's a really cool app if you like listening to uh, uh, internet radio. We've also got Pandora. So a lot of these apps were already pre-installed, cozy. Like I said, Altico, Calendar, Calculator. A lot of the stuff you're going to get set up on here. And some of this other stuff, you just go hit up the Google Play Store and you can download them um, from there, just like the Google Maps, for instance. Uh, I don't know if Flash Player was on here. I think Flash Player was already on here. Um, otherwise, you just get it through there as well. Um, so this has just been sort of a look at some of the things you can do with CM7 as opposed to, uh, you know, the stock operating system by using the uh, N2A card. And then if you want to, you just hold down the power button right here and then hit reboot. You can take screenshots as well. Hit reboot. Okay. And then it will automatically launch the stock operating system instead of the N2A operating system. I don't have the stock operating system on here. I actually have Android 4.0 running on the internal memory um, from one of my older videos I showed you. Okay, so this has just been a look at how the N2A cards work on the Nook tablet. Check out the ebookreader.com. I have the full written review on there as well. So thank you for watching.